open your book, the first letter of Genesis. By the way, Pastor, we're gonna pray for you. We pray for your family. And be like, I know your family's not here. We believe in that. They're, they're feeling you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just want to remember that because I see your, your number here. And praise God. Praise God. All right, Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the earth. What is that text has to do with wisdom? My brother, Pastor Terry, said something very interesting yesterday. He said, God makes from nothing, he makes something. And I thought about that text or that context or that um, sentence and I was playing that in my head and the Holy Spirit said this to me God does not just make nothing from something, we see him as nothing because we don't see him but here God was there it was that there was nothing, the Spirit of God was there he was Spirit and if I can connect to what he said, he said there's oxygen here, just like the Spirit of God, you may not see it you may not touch it, but yet it's there. So you can say, there's nothing. Wow, there's the fullness of God. Amen. You said there's nothing. The reason why you said there's nothing is because you don't have the understanding that although there's nothing, there is something. In most of us, you look at, at your situation, you're like, there's no hope. But if you had some understanding, although there's no hope, there is hope. Although there's no future, you see my life has no future. Although there's no future, yet there is a future. It's just a matter of having some wisdom and understanding. You can just have one and not the other. Wisdom is the know-how. You got to know how, you got to look at things, you got to figure out how to do it, and the know-how is only given by God. So when you look at wisdom, I have to rush you if you, you know the text in Genesis 3. In fact, um, Genesis, you know, chapter 2 and chapter 3, the, you know, we, there's a story of the mankind, and now the mankind that God created is not to go down. That's the story where Adam and Eve they wanted to enjoy the fruit. I'm just gonna share with you a little bit tonight. Adam and Eve got everything. In the beginning, the Spirit of God was there. And then God started to lay things up. We know the story. One thing after one thing, the entire planet, everything was put together. With what? God's wisdom. His wisdom puts everything together. So has God put everything together? And also in his wisdom, which is God, he went and said, I'm gonna put together a man. And this man that I'm gonna create, I'm gonna also breathe in him my spirit. So this man did not just have a body, he also had God's spirit on the inside. So this man was moving now, and now God said, it's not good for a man to be alone. I'm gonna give him a woman. Not only I'm going to give you a woman, and now he tell this man, he said, I want you to have dominion, and I want you to also name the woman. So if you have your wife here, don't even look on the side. She will tell you, don't, you don't have dominion on me. Don't look on the left, don't look on the right, just look straight. So the reality is this. The reality is this. The man was given authority and dominion over everything. Say everything. Everything. In the family, me and my wife, once we got married, and guess what, we became one. So the dominion that I have, she also possess. Are you with me? Yeah. It's not just me who have dominion, we do have dominion because we also, because we become one. 
So now the story continues. Here Adam and Eve became one. Adam and Eve had dominion together as a team to rule over everything. The serpent came and said, okay, do you want to be wise? How about you do this? You know what God told you? Don't eat of the tree of good and evil. I say this, the tree of good and evil. That was the direction God gave them. So what was the lie that the devil